In this video, we will create an options panel for our game. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is what we made in the last video. So I'm going to open up the main menu because we want to make the option panel. So first of all, we will disable the first panel and enable the options panel. And here I will right click and create a drop down menu. Drop down text mesh drop. And double click over here. Come to 2D mode and make it little bit big. Move it here and I'm gonna change the color to black and make it something transparent. And let's change the text to color to white and change the font what you want. Here it is looking cool. So this one is cool. Also you can change the arrow color but I don't want to change it. Alright so I'm going to make a new text over here and call it uh, let's move it here and little bit up and change the text to uh, graphics quality. Okay, I'm going to change the font to this one. Uh, this font is my favorite font because it is really cool. So let's play the game right now and let's see how it looks like. Alright, so we have to disable our option panel and uh, enable our first panel. I'm going to play the game again and let's check our option panel. Okay, as you can see these are ABC options. Alright, I am going to open our script uh, which is UI manager. So we want to make function in which we can control this uh, quality setting. So I am going to click, uh, I am going to make a function with the public void and set, set name it to quality settings. So this one is uh, cool name and make a int variable and call it quality uh, or quality index. I think this one is good. All right. So come over here and write quality settings dot. set quality level and you have to write here quality index which we make integer so I'm gonna disable the first panel and enable the option panel and select this drop down menu and click over here and drag and drop your UI manager here and select the function which we made as you can see it is on top quality settings so we will select this let's change the name option here to low this one to medium and last one to high So I'm going to play the game right now and test the whether it's working or not. Alright, so it is, uh, let's see, from here, if I click on medium, then it will go to medium. You can see, it's quality level. And when I click on low, it will go to low. And that's awesome. You can rename the text to quality text and uh, this one is right and make it duplicate and we want to make the volume text over here so I will write the volume volume text okay I will move it over here and uh, set also its uh, text to volume 
all right i'm going to right click ui and create a slider make it little bit big and here it is looking cool so i'm gonna change the background color to black and fill color to red and as you can see if uh, it will be move up uh, forward the fill color will be red okay so i'm going to change the volume text to volume settings here it will be equal to the graphics quality setting text so i'm going to create a audio manager over here because we want to test audio and uh, add a component into audio audio manager search for audio source and add audio which we created in the last video so i think this was let's right click over here create a audio mixer call it volume manager double click over here and drag and drop this audio mixer over here Alright, as you can see it is 0 and minus 80 so we have to change the slider to here slider and we have to change the slider minimum value to minus 80 and maximum to 0 alright okay it's good You can also control the values from here in editor. I'm going to open up our script and make a header file with the name of using unity engine. dot audio. All right. So make a new variable over here with public audio ma mixer audio mixer and uh, call it uh, volume manager okay this is a cool name here we have to make a new function with the name of uh, set volume and we have to make a new float over here call it wall so here we have to write uh, volume manager dot set volume Set float, sorry, and uh, into double quotation marks, so you have to store a value, uh, store a string, sorry, and uh, add a comma and set the float name which we created. Its name is wall. Make sure to add comma over here. come back to unity and select uh, our UI manager and drag and drop our audio mixer over here otherwise it will not work come to your slider and click over here drag and drop your UI manager into it and select function which we created okay here it is all right Make sure you have right click over here and set into expose here okay and uh, here you have to set that value which we store stored in string form let me show you in the script 
it was volume let me show you in the script so copy it from here and the paste paste it over here double click and paste it over here and enter all right so we I'm going to play the game right now and it should work because everything is okay and perfectly so I'm going to options and as you can see I will decrease the slider volume it will be decreased you can see in audio mixture so I hope you guys enjoy the videos if you enjoy the video so please hit the like button and if you are new on channel so please subscribe my channel for more videos remember me in your prayers and i will see you in the next video